Hey everybody, speak your truth. Let's talk a little bit about speak your truth. Did you know how much power our words really have? How we use our words in our daily vocabulary or in the or in effect the order in which we use these words can harm or hinder us in our ability to attain our goals and create a positive, loving, and happy life? Words that we use can sabotage everything we've worked so hard to attain. We must master to we must master the knowledge of the power of words. And this is one of the main emphasis in neurolinguistic programming as well as the Yoga Sutras. In NLP, it's an approach to psychotherapy and organizational change based on our thought patterns. So that is really cool that our thought patterns actually can harm us or hinder us. That relationship we have with our words is powerful. The relationship between the patterns of behavior that are associated with the words that we think are also important for us to think. The other thing that's important is for you to realize that in the Yoga Sutras, it also talks to us about speaking our truth. And that is really important because the Yoga Sutras seek to educate ourselves in self-awareness in being effective in the way that we speak, in the way that we communicate, and in the way that we change our patterns of mental and emotional behavior. Speaking our truth is so important, guys, because it can create a, a successful person or it can break a successful person. The Yoga Sutras, according to Patanjali, Say it is the ability to direct the mind without interruption or distraction. Notice it doesn't say control. It is the ability to direct the mind. Both of these are examples in essence that are trying to alert us to the fact that our words have power, that what we do is speak our truth, that what speaks becomes our reality, that our internal mental dialogue creates a personal reality which we're living right now. And that's so important for us to realize. We can often judge other people that they talk negatively, but really it's about looking here. How are we using words? One word that we use very often is the word but. In my vocabulary, I say, throw out all the buts. We normally, what we normally do is create a statement in which our mind, you know, creates it and then you spew it through your mouth. How often have you said something and wish you could take it back? But it's out. But when we use when we realize the power of our words and we use it for good, it helps us. So realize, if you can imagine this, when you use the word but, because the word but is an, a word that a lot of people use, it's like bringing down the garage door. And everything behind the garage door cannot get in, can, excuse me, stays out there and the mind then sucks it up. Right? So everything that before that came before it just gets lost. The mind does not grasp it. So many times we use the words to sabotage ourselves and we use the word but. For example, let me give you an example because people always say, what does it mean, Marty? If you said something like this, I want to be able to earn more money and get a new job, but... I can't get anybody to call me back. Well, think about it. You just stated the positive before the word but, which was the affirmation. Then you brought the wall down. Closed that out. Shut that out. Mine didn't get it. And then you said, no one's calling me back. And that's what the mind absorbs. And that's what you create. You create that reality based on that. So, if you insist on using the word but, 
fix your sentences to say the negative first and the, then the positive last. So no one is calling me back, but I'm still focused on moving forward daily and getting this great new job that I really love and is going to pay me what I really deserve or desire. Voila. The positive stayed at the end. Now my mind is going to focus on that. It's going to suck it in. So we must be conscious of the underlying thoughts that get stored in our subconscious mind because it creates a belief that we buy into and thereby subconsciously and inadvertently creating a reality that we really don't want. So what we need to do is to think about what we are about to say. And if you insist on using the word, but restructure the sentences in your mind. Now, I hope you all found value in this. And if you did drop me an emoji, drop me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Now let's end in gratitude. Put your hands together and let's say in Namaste. I am thankful for everything I have, for all that I am, and all that I'm about to become. Namaste. Have a great day.